Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So today, we are stepping into the great outdoors to explore the world of outdoor power over Ethernet, demystifying the process and ensuring your outdoor devices stay powered and connected. Whether you're setting up security cameras, Wi-Fi in your garden, or any other outdoor technology, this guy has got you covered. So stay tuned for a comprehensive how-to guide on setting up outdoor PoE, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things tech. And let's dive in. So outdoor power over Ethernet is a technology designed for powering and connecting outdoor devices over a single Ethernet cable. The primary purpose of outdoor PoE is to simplify installation in outdoor environment where running separate power and data cable can be challenging. And when considering outdoor installation, it is crucial to address factors like weather resistance and temperature tolerance. Outdoor PoE devices are built to withstand harsh weather conditions, ensuring reliable operation in rain, snow, or varying temperatures. Common applications of outdoor PoE include outdoor civilian cameras, wireless access points, and other network devices situated in open-air environment. And the versatility of outdoor PoE makes it a practical solution for extending network connectivity to outdoor spaces, providing power and data transmission to devices that enhances security and connectivity. And when selecting the right outdoor PoE equipment, it is essential to consider the specific needs of outdoor installation. An outdoor PoE switch plays a central role, providing power and data connectivity to outdoor devices like camera or SS point. And when choosing a switch, factors such as its increased protection, the IP rating for weather resistance, power budget to support connected devices, the number of ports to accommodate various devices, and the overall ruggedness for outdoor condition should be carefully evaluated. Similarly, a PoE injector, which can inject power into the Ethernet cable, needs to meet the requirement of the outdoor environment, and both devices should align with the specific demand of the outdoor setting, ensuring reliable and efficient power and data transmission to outdoor network devices. So for switches, we have the outdoor PoE switch that has IP67 waterproof rugged metal casing with high durability of extreme temperature. It can save concern of water damage and get 30 watts PoE plus and gigabit network with easy plug and play installation. And over here we have another one which is the outdoor PoE switch with SFP. It can supply up to 10 kilometers fiber optic network between point A and point B, and you can place this device at outdoor environment without concern of water damage and to provide fast network and sufficient high power for multiple network devices with plug and play installation. And we also have managed switch with SFP available. And for injectors, we have our 30 watts outdoor industrial waterproof injector. Now this is a convenient and reliable solution that allows various IP devices to get sufficient power at outdoor. And the working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. It has a built-in power regulator, has a wide input voltage range from 24 volt to 56 volt DC. And underneath, we have our 60 watt outdoor industrial waterproof PoE injector. It offers 100 to 240 volt AC input, makes the PoE connection under harsh outdoor to be handy and reliably. And they can also support gigabit data transmission rate. 
So when setting up the outdoor PUE switch or injector, careful consideration are needed. Yeah. Choosing an optimal location for the switch or injector, considering factors like accessibility, protection from the elements, and proximity to connected devices. Yeah. Ensuring a reliable and stable power source for your outdoor PUE switch or injector, which may evolve strategic placement and potential use of additional power option like solar power or alternative energy sources and implementing proper grounding measure to protect the equipment from electrical issues and enhances overall safety especially important in outdoor installation exposed to various weather conditions so next we'll do the connection together so now we are going to connect our bullet camera using our outdoor industrial rated PUE injector. First, we'll need to use a sharp patch cord to connect the router to our network video recorder since we're connecting to an IP camera. And the NVR is already connected to the monitor. Next, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect the router and provide data to our PoE injector. You can see the AC input is already plugged in, so it's already powered up. This is a special mounting tool, allows you to mount the injector on a DIN reel wherever you like. Now let's plug in the data port from our router. And using another Ethernet cable to connect with the PoE output port. Just like this, make sure you plug in the Ethernet cable tightly. Coming over here to our bullet camera, all you need to do is plug in the Ethernet cable so it will receive both power and data at the same time. So the indicated light is on. Now let's wait for the video to display on the monitor. As you can see, it's already on. It's kind of blurry because it needs time to adjust the focus. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And also, you can use a PoE switch for outdoor usage. So in conclusion, we've covered critical aspects of setting up an outdoor PoE system, including the selection of outdoor PoE switch or injector, compatible devices, Ethernet cable, and protective measure like weatherproof connector. And it is important to remember the significance of strategic placement, reliable power source, and proper grounding for successful outdoor installation. And if you have any questions or need further clarification on specific topics, please feel free to ask. We're here to help. And thank you very much for joining us today. And I'll see you in the next video.